Hello guys, Joshua McClintock here for TechSpider HD channel on YouTube. Today we're unboxing the Motorola Moto X for Verizon Wireless. Take a quick look around the box. Got the company branding here, the Moto X here. Side obviously says Verizon 4G LTE certified. Nothing there. Moto X. And the specifications and warnings on the back includes Moto X charger cable, uh, SIM removal tool, and quick guides. I want to give just a moment while I take this out of the box and give a shout out to my friend Tim who bought this today. Had the uh, Verizon Edge, traded in his Samsung Galaxy S4, and went ahead and got this today. So we get to unbox this, take a look at it for just a minute, and maybe even do a size comparison with my current phone, the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. So again, outside of the box, very plain, very dry. When you open the box, and like I said, he got this today. We'll put the phone aside for just a second, but obviously you have the phone. He got this today, doesn't play around with it, hasn't really pulled anything else out. So you got this. As we know, when we've all opened these before, it's just the same Verizon and Motorola stuff. Get to know your phone, the Moto X, global support information and calling card, consumer information about radio frequency emissions and responsible driving, important consumer information, product safety and warranty information. Same stuff in every box in every cell phone you'll ever get. You've got the standard USB charging cable for it. You've got your standard plug. It's actually got a dual USB plug in for it so you can charge your Moto X as well as another device whether it's a phone or a tablet or anything. And inside here simply is the SIM removal tool. Right like that. So, I mean, just a second when we put this back in, we'll clear this stuff out of the way and actually take a look at the phone. So here is the Moto X itself. Um, very small feeling in the hand, but it's very. Um, it feels very nice in the hand. It's small and compact but it doesn't have that feel that it's going to be dropped because it's so small or you can't really uh, use it that it's so small. It's actually got a very good feel to it. Almost like what the uh, Samsung Galaxy Nexus was supposed to be like. Um, taking a look, you have your front-facing camera here, your speaker, um, there's a microphone down at the bottom. See that? Side, you have the SIM card slot. Nothing else on that side. Your USB charging port there. On the side you have your unlock button, as well as your volume rocker. And at the top you have your, another, I'm guessing, noise canceling microphone. And you have your standard 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. On the back you have the camera, you got the flash, that little dimple that's actually really nice to hold. If you're holding it up to your ear, you can put your finger there. You always know you got your phone right there. And of course, your Verizon branding. Very minimal on the Verizon branding. I actually really like the look of that. Turning on the phone, you've got different features. You can access the Google Now straight away from the main lock screen. Lock screen, you got your clock. You've got the camera, as you just saw, Google Now. And then you can unlock. And he's modified this a little bit with some custom icons. Not straight out of the box exactly, but you can see it's actually very, very nice. Um, has a very nice look to it, very nice feel. It's as close on Verizon as you're going to get to basic Google. It's operating on Android version 4.4. That, of course, is the Google Android KitKat. Very nice. A lot of people are saying that this is what the Galaxy Nexus wished it would have been. Um, what I'm going to do is, uh, while I'm talking, I'm going to shut this down and then we're going to take a look at the boot up. When it boots up, we're going to take a look at the boot up screen, uh, see what it looks like when it boots up. 
Um, this is what the Galaxy Nexus should have been. The Galaxy Nexus lost pretty much all support when uh, it was released. It was supposed to, when it was released for Verizon Wireless, supposed to have the ice cream sandwich first put on it. But right after it had the ice cream sandwich on it, it it lost pretty much all support. Any sort of updates or anything that came its way just sort of fell off the map. Every other Nexus device out there was getting updated, but Verizon's Samsung Galaxy Nexus was not. This is kind of Google's answer to that, since Verizon has essentially refused to carry the Nexus 5, the Nexus 4, or the Nexus 5. This is sort of Motorola's and Google's answer to that, because there is a little bit of bloatware on it, bloatware being the software that you get from Verizon that's already put on it. Let's see if it's on here, one in particular. Yeah, you've got your mobile hotspot, you've got your My Verizon Mobile, um, the standard, just the standard mobile stuff that Verizon puts on here, the voicemail, the navigator, um, Let's see, you cannot get the SIM status while the device is in airplane mode. Would you like to turn airplane mode off? No. The airplane mode off because he was getting notifications and didn't want to have that on here while I'm doing the video. But you got your standard Verizon stuff. Um, I'm surprised NFL Mobile is not on here, actually, because that's something that Verizon seems to stick on every phone. But on here, you only have the standard Verizon uh, applications on it, the standard Verizon bloatware. Other than that, everything else on here is strictly Google, and the nice thing about that is that Google, when they put out a new update such as KitKat, uh, maybe an update for KitKat that they would release, like 4.4.1 or 4.4.2, would go onto this phone relatively faster than if it was filled with Verizon's bloatware, um, something like the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 that is still operating off of 4.3. Now as a size comparison, you can definitely see that, I'm gonna lock both phones, you can definitely see the size comparison. My phone is definitely bigger than this one. Let's see the side by side. Yeah, it's, smaller than my phone but like i said this phone feels i'm used to it i'm used to it in the hand when i hold this one it feels small it feels tiny but still it has a good feel to it and the other nice thing about it is it's got this rubberized feeling back that you know you don't feel like you're about to drop the phone so overall looking at this as the unboxing of the motorola moto x if this is a phone you're looking at, it's about six months old at this point. If this is a phone you're looking at, you're not going to go wrong with it. Um, just judging by the unboxing, judging by what I've read, it's not something you're going to go wrong with. You're going to get updates relatively fast. Uh, shortly after they're released for the Nexus devices, the Moto Xs are the next ones to get it. So if this is a phone you're looking at and you're seriously looking at either upgrading to a smartphone or upgrading your smartphone, this is definitely an option, especially if you're a fan of Android. That's all the time I have for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Remember to comment down below. Also hit that like button. Uh, it helps out, lets me know that people are watching and people actually like what I do. So hit the like button, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, I'm Josh McClintock for TechSpider HD. Stay tuned for more unboxings as well as app reviews and accessory reviews. Take care, guys. Have a great day.